So that's my journey. As I said, I was about four years old. I recognized I was trans and all the way to 21 years old, I was supposed to go for a sex change. 那这是我的经历，就是我告诉过大家，我四岁就开始是跨性别者，然后二十一岁我差不多差一点就是要去呃做这个变性手术。So when I was about thirteen years old in nineteen eighty three, nineteen eighty three, I was thirteen years old. I discovered sex change in Thailand. 那我大概十三岁，就是一九八三年的时候，我十三岁的，我发现在泰国可以做这个变性的手术。So I did my research and I I was told that I have to wait until I'm twenty one years old to have my legal sex change. 那我做了一些的研究，然后发现就是要二十一岁的时候才可以合法的来转换性别。So like in school, when the teacher asks us about our ambition, you know, everybody will have their own ambition. One one boy want to be a teacher. One boy wanted to be a doctor, and my ambition in my heart was to go and for my sex change and to become a beautiful woman and find a man to live happy ever after. That was my real ambition. So, when the teacher asked the student to be a teacher, some boys may say, "I want to be a doctor, want to be a doctor." But in my heart, I wanted to be a transgender person, to be a beautiful woman and to be a beautiful man. I was and I still am a very determined person, but praise God, in the past I was determined for the wrong things, but now I'm determined for the right things. Nevertheless, I'm still determined. So I was a very determined 13 year old trans girl. Okay, a transgender male who one who believes that he is a girl is called a trans girl. 那我曾经是，我现在也是一个意志很坚定的人。之前我意志坚定，为了错误的事情，感谢主。现在是为了正确的事情。那时候我是一个意志坚定的跨性别女性。So at thirteen, I began. To, I started working at thirteen. I I went. I was a free, a part-time dancer, and I was in school, of course, and I was a part-time dancer. I gave tuition. I was teaching. I was thirteen, but I was teaching primary school students because I was determined to go for my sex change when I was twenty. When I I'm going to be twenty-one in the future. 因此，在我十三岁的时候，我就开始呃做一个。就是兼职的舞蹈者，甚至是教呃小学的老师，因为我呃很意志坚定的要在二十一岁的时候做这个变性的手术。Please bear in mind, this is a very old story. I am fifty-two years old now, so this is long, long time ago. 请记得这是一个很久以前的故事，我现在已经五十二岁了。Yeah, so um, what happened? Let me just tell you a little bit of my history, how I ended up with a what we call a transgender identity. So everybody, all of you have got a gender identity. Gender identity is mean you recognize your gender. You know you are boy or girl. That's gender identity. Every child will start developing their gender identity at Three, four, five, all the way. By the time they are seven, people are sure about their gender identity. 那每个人都会有性别的认知，就是你可能会知道自己是个男生或者是女生。我们从三岁到七岁之间，一直到七岁的时候，是很肯定的知道自己是个男生还是女生。So as a transgender girl, I was not trying to be a girl. You may not understand this. Every transgender person will understand this. I was not trying to be a girl. I was a girl. Who is trapped in the boy's body? Do you understand? I was a girl who is stuck in the boy's body. My body is fully boy. Okay, I, you know what I mean, right? Okay, but I was a girl inside, stuck. That's how it felt. That's how every true transgender person feels. 作为一个跨性别女性呢，我不是想要成为女性，我是认为自己。是一个女性，但是被困在一个男性的身体里面。每一个跨性别者的人都能够理解。So every transgender have a different story. Maybe we our stories are a bit similar. So I'll tell you mine. Before I was born, my parents already had three sons. 那每个跨性别者可能都会有他们的故事，应该很相似。我要告诉你我的，就是在我还没有出生之前，我父亲有三个儿子。So from the second pregnancy, they always wanted a daughter. So my first brother was born; they were happy. My second brother was born; they wish they wish that he was a girl. My third brother was born; they wish he's a girl. By the time I 
was in the womb, they were sure it's going to be a girl. 那就是当我的第一个呃兄哥哥出世的时候，呃，他们很开心。第二个的时候呢，他们希望是个女的，但不是。第三个也不是。当我在怀呃，我妈妈在怀我的时候呢，他们很肯定的认为这是个女儿。And remember, I was conceived in 1969, so the scanning thing and all that doesn't really happen then. 那要记得就是我那时候是一九六九年啊，我妈妈妈怀孕了，所以那时候还没有所谓的这些扫描。So I have been told that my mother. Mother's pregnancy with me was different. The shape of the belly was different. The morning sickness was different. So I, so she, my father and my mother was so sure that a daughter is going to come. 就是那时候我母亲她怀我的时候呢，是呃她腹部的形状不一样，甚至她的呃这个害喜也不一样，所以我的父母很坚定的认为这是个女儿。So both my father and my mother believe it's going to be a girl. They prepared for the arrival of the girl, but on first September 1971, 27 a.m. A boy was born. 但是在呃一九七一年九月一日早上的时候呢，就是呃一个男生一个男孩出世了。You have to understand the first thing that went wrong was my parents, without realizing, they were rejecting me from the while I was in the womb. When there is a baby boy there in the womb, and you say my daughter, my girl, telling everybody is my girl, my daughter, you are rejecting the child. When your child is a boy and you call him a girl, you are rejecting your child. So I was rejected. Right from in the womb. So, what happened? Is that when I was in my mother's womb, when she was pregnant, they kept telling me that this is a girl, a girl, how old is she? How old is she? So, in that situation, they rejected me as a boy, as a boy, as a boy. So, when I was born on that fine day, it was not a joy; it was sadness. So, when I was born on that fine day, it was not a joy; it was sadness. So, when I was born on that fine day, it was not a joy; it was sadness. So, when I was born on that fine day, it was not a joy; it was sadness. So, when I was born on that fine day, it was not a joy; it was sadness. So, when I was born on that fine day, it was not a joy; it was sadness. So, when I was born on that fine day, it was not a joy; it was sadness. So, when I was born on that fine day, it was not a joy; it was sadness. So, when I was born on that fine day, So my father and I did not have a relationship all my life until three years before he died. So, 一直以来我一生跟我父亲的交际没有很多，一直到他呃去世以前的三年。My father passed away in 2001, and three years before he passed away, God did a supernatural thing. God moved my heart. God led me to forgive my father and to love my father. I was already 28, 29 years old at time, and I obeyed God and my rest. My My relationship, my father got restored, and then in 2001, he had a heart attack and died. 那我父亲是在二零零一年去世的，因为心脏病。那在那之前的三年呢，上帝就是做了一个很神奇的事情，他感动我的内心，要去跟我父亲和好，原谅他，爱他。然后呃，我们就是关系修复了。And, and all my life, I've been wanting daddy to touch me and kiss me as his son and cuddle me. I wanted Daddy to do that so much for me, but my father acted like I did not exist. 那我一直以来都希望我的父亲能够把我当成男孩一样，偶尔给我拥抱，给我亲吻，呃，抚摸我。但是我父亲呃的反应是仿佛我没有存在过一样。And when my female cousins came to visit, my father will Play with them, oh, so cute! And he will carry them, he will kiss them. And I was a little boy there watching my father, and I recognized that my father does that only to girls. 而当我的这些呃女性的亲戚朋友过来的时候呢，我父亲就会很开心的来接纳他们，拥抱他们，抱他们，到处走，亲吻他们。然后呢，就是哦，好可爱。可是我觉得，呃，就是作为一个男孩看着父亲这样，我觉得我不被接受。And, and things became worse. Guess what? My sister was born after me. 那更糟糕的事发生什么事呢？就是在我之后有一个妹妹。So my sister was loved by my father. 所以我的父亲非常疼爱我的妹妹。My sister received everything that I desired to receive. 她拥有了我所梦寐以求的一切。It was difficult for a little boy. 对于一个小男孩来说，这是非常困难的。And I knew that. I'm the mistake. I didn't. I was. I didn't. I did not come as a girl. So it's my fault. 那我
，在我认知里面，就是我就是一个错误。我因为我不是一个女生，所以我是一个错误。So I began to recognize that you know it's a confirmation I'm born in the wrong gender. 因此，我就开始有这样的认知，就是说我出生，我的这个性别是错误的。I'm supposed to be a girl. 我应该是一个女生。Then daddy will love me. 这样，我的父亲就会爱我。Then daddy will want me. 那我父亲就会想要疼我。But that did not happen, of course. 当然，这没有发生。So I went on and on doing whatever it takes to be a girl. I I was more girl than my sister. 所以我就尽竭尽所能的想要成为一个女生，我甚至比我的妹妹还要更像一个女生。I was more girl than all of my female friends. 我比我所有的女性朋友还要更像一个女生。I wanted to prove to daddy, I wanted to prove to mummy, I wanted to prove to the whole world that I'm a girl. I can in the past, I can sew, I can cook, I can crochet, I can knitting, I can cross stitch, I can embroidery, I can do everything that a girl can do, and this is not even a joke. 那呃，我想要证明给我的父亲、母亲，还有甚至全世界来说，我是一个很好的女生，甚至我可以煮做饭，我可以缝缝纫，我甚至可以刺绣，而且这不是玩笑。So I grew in hatred towards myself. 因此，我长大的过程中，我是很憎恶自己的。I began to hate everything about me because everything about me reminded me that I am not a girl. 我很恨痛恨我自己的所有事情，因为我身体每一部分都提醒着我，我不是女生。At a very young age, I begin to like just reject myself. I look at myself in the mirror, and I would see an ugly person. 我很小的时候我就开始拒绝我自己。我看着镜子的时候，我就看到一个很丑陋的人。It's demonic. 是很邪恶的。The enemy was at work. 那个恶者正在工作。I was suicidal. 我有自杀倾向。Because no one understood me. Because no one understood me. I felt alone in the world. I felt alone in the world. I felt alone in the world. So just before my sister was born, so in my sister had not yet been born, I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother that I want to be a girl. I told my mother 那我的父亲是完全拒绝我，但是我的母亲呢，则是把我当作是小女孩一样，我就是好像一个洋娃娃，跟她来呃喝下午茶等等的。So I told you the problem that I had with my father, right? So now I'm going to tell you the problem that I had with my mother. 那我跟你说过我跟我父亲之间的问题，那我想要跟你说说我跟我母亲之间的问题。So a lot of LGBTQ people they have problems with their father. Or with their mother, or even both, and I had problems with both. 那很多这些同性恋、跨性别者的人呢，他们是跟父亲或者是母亲有问题，或者是双亲都有问题。So what's the problem with my mother? So my mother just allowed me to be a girl until my sister was born. 那我母亲跟我之间的问题是什么呢？就是我母亲在我妹妹还没有出生之前，她允许我成为一个女孩。So when my sister was born, my mother said. You cannot be a girl anymore. You have to be a boy. 但是当我妹妹出生之后呢，她告诉我说，你不不能够再成为女孩了，你要成为一个男孩。So at first, my mother started speaking to me nicely, but as you know, I'm a stubborn person. I was stubborn then. I'm stubborn now. I said, No, I'm a girl. I'm not going to be a boy. I'm a girl. 那一开始的时候，母亲对我好言相劝。那个，那可是过后呢，就是我是一个很固执的人，现在也还是。所以最后，我就是跟她说，不是，我就是个女孩。So as I said, first she spoke to me, but it did not work. And then she started scolding me. You see, my mother never scolded me because I was my mother's baby girl. Okay, I was so close to my mother. My mother was my hero. But now my mother has a daughter, and my mother begins to scold me. Did not work. And my mother began to beat me. So he just at first was very kind to me, but I didn't listen. Then he started to scold me slowly. My mother never scolded me because before my sister was my daughter's baby girl. Then we were very close. But slowly he started to beat me. So please do not think that my parents were bad parents. My parents were not 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 Just like a lot of parents uneducated on this subject, 
they don't know what to do. 就好像很多对于这个课题不了解的父母，他们就是不知道该怎么办。So my mother beat me up until I was about eighteen. I was beat. I was beaten and beaten and beaten by my mother. 所以我母亲一直到我十八岁，就是一直不断的在打我。So I began to look at my mother as a Horrible monster. From 前我母亲是个英雄，那现在我看到她是一个呃母呃很可怕的怪兽。So you need to understand this. Whatever a child's experience with the father, it's always re- reflected in his perception towards boys and men. And whatever the child's experience with the mother will reflect his experience with. Girls and women. So we must have a understanding. That is, any child who sees his father's experience, he will reflect this experience in all the men he sees. Same way, how the mother treats his father, he will reflect this experience in all the women he sees. Same way, how the mother treats his father, he will reflect this experience in all the women he sees. Same way, how the mother treats his father, he will reflect this experience in all the women he sees. Same way, how the mother treats his father, he will reflect this experience in all the women he sees. And daddy didn't give it to me, so I began to look at other boys and other men for them to love me and fill me up. 那我是个小男孩，我一直渴慕父爱，可是我的父亲并没有给我这样的爱，所以我就开始在看其他的男性，希望从他们身上获得我这个空虚，填补我这个空虚。So this is human psychology, a child's interpretation of what. The male and the female gender around them is always related to the child's connection with the child's parents. So this is human's psychology. That is to say, a child's perception of his father's perception is his perception of the gender of his parents. And because I began to look to my mother as a monster. Do you think I can ever fall in love with a girl? No way. I I used to think that every girl and every woman is a monster. 那当所以当我开始认为我母亲像个怪兽一样的时候，你觉得我可以爱上一个女性吗？我会认为所有的这些女性都是怪兽。But God, by His grace and His mercy, He has set me free from my issues. I do not feel I I've been set free. From the issues of desiring men to love me, to fill my life and have sex with me, that has gone. And my desire, my hatred towards women, looking them as monsters, has all gone. And this is the supernatural work of God. 但是上帝凭着他的恩典和怜悯，他帮助我能够胜过我这些的，呃，就是。我不再是想要跟男性呃有任何的关系，或者是渴望他们爱我，然后我不再认为女性是一个呃怪兽。But you have to understand, it took me ten years. 但是你必须理解，这是花了十年的时间。It's it's not just a decision to be set free. When you decide to be set free from homosexuality or lesbianism or transgenderism, when you make that decision, that's just the beginning. All right, and for me, it was ten years down the road. I've only been totally set free when I was about thirty-one years old. I'm fifty-two now. Are you listening? So it's a long, long journey. This to be released process is not a. 一夜之间就发生的，就是当我决定要被释放，不再成为一个呃，就或者任何人不想要再成为同性恋者或者是跨性别者，他需要一段很长的时间做那个决定，只是开始而已。而对我来说，我三十一岁做这个决定，我现呃，我三十一岁才完全的得到这个自由。It's a challenging journey. It's a long journey. It's not like you can pray. That's that's a saying. You cannot pray the gay away. You pray, 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 and you no longer gay. It doesn't work that way. Of course, you need to pray, but it's more than prayer. It's a journey. It's overcoming issues. It's forgiveness. It's developing your relationship with Jesus Christ. A lot of things that takes place in the journey of recovery before one can truly be set free. 
，它是一个很有挑战的旅途。它并不是说只是祷告就能够让这个呃同性恋的想法就没有了，而是一个很长漫长的旅程，包括需要去呃饶恕，要得到上帝的呃释放等等。这是一个很漫长的一个旅途。So the Bible says, with Christ, all things are possible. 圣经说，呃，在神，呃，在基督里，凡事都可行。And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, you are looking a living example that it is so possible for me. So the question is, why didn't I go for my sex change? You want to know the story? 所以弟兄姐妹，你看到我就是一个活活的见证，就是在基督里，凡事都可行。那问题就是说，你要知道我为什么最终没有去变性嘛 ？So I, because my father continued to to ignore me. My father gave me food, paid for my school, and all that. My father is a good man, but he did not love me the way I needed him to love me. I wanted him to touch me. I wanted him to hug me. I wanted him to kiss me, but he didn't do all that. I want to hear from daddy, from daddy's mouth saying, "I love you, my child," but I never got all that. So I needed that. I needed that. So what did I do? I went out to the world to look for it. 那就是我渴望得到父亲的爱，渴望父亲的亲吻、拥抱，甚至从他口里说出来“我爱你，孩子”。可是我父亲都没有这么做，他就是供我念书、给我食物，但是他就是忽视我。那我怎么办呢？我就是到世界去寻找这些爱。The world did not have love to give me. The world had sex to give me. 世界没有给我任何的爱，而是给我性。I started having sex with boys and men when I was 13 years old. I had sex with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men. 那我自十三岁开始就是跟不同的男性、男生、呃，男人发生性行为，然后我甚至是上百的人。And I'm not telling you proudly. I'm telling you my true story to tell you someone as broken as I am. Can be set free and being used by God today so powerfully. 我不是很自豪的这样告诉你，而是要告诉你，像我这么破碎的人，能够被主释放，然后被主这么大力的使用。I was having sex with men from the time I was thirteen all the way to twenty-four years old. 我从十三岁到二十四岁之间，就是跟男生发生性行为。And I wasn't even looking for sex. I was looking for love. 而我真正在寻找的并不是性，而是爱。But the world has no love to give. 但是这世界并没有爱可以给我。So when I was eighteen, I met my first boyfriend. 因此，当我十八岁的时候，我认识了我第一个男朋友。So all the sex that I had since thirteen until I met my boyfriend, those were just sex. But when I was eighteen, I met my first boyfriend who actually loved me. 所以从十三岁，我所有的这些性爱，呃，性都是性行为而已。而一直到十八岁，我才遇到这个爱我的呃男朋友。And his name was Stephen. 他的名字叫 Stephen. So there is something special about Stephen, and I believe that God. Allowed Stephen to come into my life to help me overcome a problem. That Stephen 有一个很特别的特点，我相信上帝允许 Stephen 来到我的生命中是帮助我胜过一个问题。So all the boys and men that I had sex with when I was thirteen, they were all straight. 那所有我从十三岁开始发生性行为的男生男人呢，他们都是异性恋者。They were not gay. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people to have sex with. Because gay people don't like trans people
this girl was a boy and you are super straight, you'll be, oh, you were a boy, you cannot. That is super straight. No matter how you look, but if you are a boy originally, I cannot. That is super straight. But if normal straight, regular straight, you can close one eye. Look like a girl, boleh lah. You know, it's that straight. So that's the difference between straight and super straight. So, 并不是完整的女生，就是看起来像而已的话，就是她不能够接受，就是觉得很恶心，远离她。但是如果是呃异性恋者，她可以是看起来是女生的话，她就睁一只眼闭一只眼，然后就啊没关系，可以接受这样，
he likes male and female. Do you think Stephen will encourage me or discourage me to go for my sex change? 那你告诉我好了，就是 Stephen 他是一个双性恋者，他喜欢我的女性的一面跟男性的一面。你觉得他会鼓励我去动这个手术吗 ？Tell me, you think Stephen will encourage me or discourage me? 你认为他会鼓励我，或者是不鼓励我 ？Discourage me. 他不鼓励我。First time in my life that someone is saying. You don't have to be a girl. You don't have to go there. I love you just the way you are, like the song, just the way you are. I love you just the way you are. You don't have to change. I love you. You are gorgeous. I like everything about you. You don't have to change. Please, please don't change. I love you. So of course, my mind began to change. Like what? How can this man like this kind of girl? A man should want a complete girl. But now he's telling me not to complete it. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, I'm a bit confused. So, he just doesn't encourage me. He tells me, "You don't need to change. I love you as you are now. You don't need to make any changes." At that time, my thought was a bit confused. Because how can he not need me to change my complete appearance? I'm going to tell you a story about my best friend. I'm going to tell you a story about my best friend. I'm going to tell you a story about His name is Joel. His name is Joel. When Joel, Joel was also a transgender. Joel is also a transgender. I was a transgender. He was a transgender, and now today we are both ex-transgender. 就是我曾经是跨性别者，他他曾经也是跨性别者。现在我们都是前跨性别者。So when I was 18, I my boyfriend, I met a boyfriend, and he was bisexual. Joel was 18, and he met his boyfriend, and his boyfriend was straight. 所以我十八岁的时候，我遇到的这个是双性恋的男朋友。Joel 十八岁的时候，他遇到的男朋友呢是、so、呃异性恋者。My boyfriend and my boyfriend was the major reason. Who discouraged me from my surgery? But for Joel, his 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 boyfriend and many of his friends encouraged him, and Joel went for a surgery. Today, my best friend has a vagina. 就是呃，我的男朋友他不鼓励我去变性做做这个手术，但是 Joel 那个时候呢，他的。呃，男朋友甚至他周围的人都鼓励他去做这个手术，所以现在我这个好朋友呢，他是有阴道的。He he went for the surgery. I didn't go for the surgery. I believe God protected me. If not, I wouldn't be the I wouldn't be able to be the father that I am today because God's name should must be glorified through my testimony. Who can say Amen? Amen. Yeah, but Joel can never be a father. But yet, Joel's life is also a testimony. You know what his testimony? Even someone who has gone for the surgery, they still have hope in Christ. Today, Joel loves the Lord. Today, Joel serves the Lord, but of course, Joel can never be a father because he does not have a penis anymore. He went for the surgery in Thailand while I didn't go, and he's my best friend. He is in Kuala Lumpur. Can you see how God was protecting me? Because God wants this testimony to come out in the future, like how it is coming out now. Are you listening? 所以就是上帝在他的恩典中保护了我，没有去动这个手术。不同于 Joel， 因为我没有动了这个手术，所以我现在可以成为我现在这样的一个父亲，我能够成为一个活活的见证，来去见证神的荣耀。但是呃， Joel 他虽然动了这个手术，他还他也是一个活活活的见证，就是见证，即便是经历过这样的手术，他也能够成为被释放的人。Is Joel a sad person? No, he's not. Is Joel a real Christian? Yes, he is. Is Joel a real man? Yes, he is. Okay, what makes you a man is not whether you have a penis or not. What makes you a man is what what chromosomes you have. Everybody say chromosomes. Chromosomes. Okay, if your chromosomes is X Y, means you are a man. If your chromosomes, your genes is X X, means you are a woman. You can cut this, you can cut that, you can plant this, you can plant that. If you check your chromosomes, if your chromosomes is X Y, you are a man. If your chromosomes is X X, you are a woman. And who gives us our chromosomes? God. God. You can try and change everything on the outside, but in the inside, you can never change the person that God created you to be. 
就是主要他是一个难过的人吗？他不是，他是一个基督徒吗？他是，他是一个男生吗？他现在是。所以其实我们不管是外外表有怎么样的变化，我们做了什么的植入，什么样的呃切除，但是。真正取呃决定我们是一个男生还是女生的是染色体。如果你染色体是 X Y 的话呢，那你就是男性；你是 X X 的话，你是女性。不管我们怎么样去变化，是那位创造主给我们的那个染色体决定了我们的性别。By the way, who is the timekeeper here? 请问谁是那个看时间 ？So if, when I have ten minutes more, please show me your hands, like ten hands, because I can talk and talk until midnight. Yeah. So please, I'm serious. You got to show me. You got. You make sure I see you. You know. Yeah. So anyway, we can go to the same slide. The same slide that we saw earlier. We can go back to the slide that we saw earlier. Okay. Can you see the third picture? The second picture. I was a transgender until I was 21 years old. When I was 21, I didn't go for my sex change, but I transitioned into a gay man. 好的，那就是你可以看到这张图片的第三张图片。嗯，在二十呃第二张图片的时候呢，是二十一岁以前，我是一个跨性别女性。但是到我二十一岁的时候，我没有动手术，反而我是跨到另外一个呃情况，就是我变成一个同性恋男人。So what's the difference between a transgender? So first and second picture, I was trans. And third picture onwards, I was gay. I was gay until from 21 to 24. Okay, so from 25 onwards, I move forward. Okay, what's the difference between transgender and gay? Let me explain to you. So, 跨性别者跟同性恋者之间有什么区别？你看，就是第二张图片，呃，第三张图片以前第二张图片，我都是个跨性别的女性。但是第三张图片开始，二十一岁到二十四岁之间，我成为了男同性恋者。那呃，有什么区别？我现在要告诉大家。So some people, please get this, ah.、Huh? Some people have the transgender problem. Some people have the gay problem, and some people like me, we have both problems. Okay. 那呃，有些人呢，他有跨性别的问题；有些人是有同性恋的问题。那有些人就好像我这样，我有两个都有这样的问题。I mean, I understand today why God allowed me to go through what I went through. It was, it was terrible. That time it was terrible. I didn't understand why you allow me to go all through it. But I understand why now because even if I didn't go through being a trans, then I will never understand transgender people. If I never gone through being a gay, then I will never understand what's meaning the what it means to be a gay. And God is so good, isn't it? Who can say amen? amen. So He was preparing me to do what I'm doing today. So, actually, you. 那个时候其实是很糟糕的，可是现在我看回头，我能够理解上帝为什么允许我经历过这样的事情，因为我经历过，我知道，呃，成为跨性别者有的问题，成为男同性恋者有的问题。So let's talk about the difference. Please listen this very carefully because a lot of people don't know this. This is so important when you want to counsel or understand LGBTQ people. Gender identity, transgender. When you when a person say they are trans. It means they are talking about themselves. They are not talking about whom they want to have sex with. Are you listening? When someone says I'm trans, it's not about whom I want to have sex with. When you say when a person says I'm trans, the person is saying I am male, but I want to be a woman or a girl, or I am female, I want to be a boy or a man. That is trans. It's nothing to do with other people. It's me. When the person say I'm gay. I'm homosexual. I'm lesbian. It means it's not about them. It means they want whom they want to have sexual intimacy with. Are you listening? It means that they want to be sexually intimate with the same gender. Trans has nothing to do with other people. Trans is me. I'm in the wrong gender. Gay, homo, lesbian is about whom. You want to have sex with whom you want to be married to, and it's the same gender. That is homosexuality. Homo means same. Homosexuality. Are you following? So that's the major difference. Very simple, but a lot of people get confused. Don't trans people are not gay. Gay people are not trans. Two different category. But I was both. But not everybody is both. You need to understand that. 好的，那接下来我要说的，可能你需要很认真的听，因为这个是特别对于那些需要辅导这一个或者服侍这一群，嗯，就是
同性恋或者是跨性别者的人群的时候，你需要很清楚的一件事情：跨性别者呢，他其实是关乎自己，而不是关乎他呃一起发生性行为的对象。就是他认为他自己是呃怎么样的一个性别。他可能是个女生，他认为他应该是个男儿生，或者他是个男生，他认为自己应该是个女生。但是当我们说到同性恋者的时候呢，他是说到我要呃，就是同性恋者本身，他要跟那个同性的人发生性行为，就是他发生性行为的对象是同性的，这个是很重要的一点，因为跨性别者并不等于同性恋者，同性恋者并不等于跨性别者，很多人会因此而混淆。So don't misunderstand and think that gay people are trans and trans people are gay. Not the same. You, you need to understand that. So I was trans from four to twenty-one, and I was gay from twenty-one to twenty-four. 所以呢，呃，我们必须要很清楚明白，就是跨性别者跟同性恋者是不对等的。那我曾经在四岁到二十一岁是个跨性别者，到二十一岁到二十四岁之间，我是同性恋者。So if I went for my sex change when I was 21 years old, thank God I didn't. If I went for my sex change, then I will not be gay. I will not have the gay experience. I will continue being trans until today, until God touch me and I become an ex-trans. You understand that? 因此，如果我二十一岁有去做那个变性手术的话呢，很感谢主，我没有去做这个手术。但是如果我做的话，那表示我不会经历这个同性恋的问题，我就是一个呃。变性者，我只会体体验到变性者的这个经历，一直到上帝改变我为止。So God used my first boyfriend Stephen to help me overcome my transgender issues, and guess what? God used my third boyfriend to overcome my homosexual, my gay issue. 那上帝透过第一个男朋友 Stephen 帮助我战胜了我这个的呃。跨性别的问题，但是上呃上帝也透过第三个男朋友帮助我战胜了我同性恋的这个问题。So do you want to hear the story about my third boyfriend now？ 你想要听听关于我第三个男朋友的故事吗 ？And my third boyfriend, his name was Benjamin。我第三个男朋友，他名字叫 Benjamin。Any Benjamin here？ 这里有叫 Benjamin 的吗<笑> ？So when I was by the time I was twenty-four years old, I was with my third. And last boyfriend. 当我二十四岁的时候，我是跟我的第三任男朋友，也是最后一位呃，最后一任男朋友交往。And remember, I'm no longer trans. I'm gay. Then gay and trans are totally different. 要记得那时候我已经不再是跨性别者，我是完全的同性恋者。So I was, I was 24, not so young. I, I'm ready to settle down. I want, I was willing to. Marry Benjamin, maybe marry Benjamin, migrate to a different country, live happy ever after, rear two dogs, whatever you know, that kind of dreams that we used, to, I used to have. 那时候呢，我已经不再年轻了，我可能已经准备好要定下来。我甚至想过要嫁给 Benjamin， 跟他一起移民到别的国家，甚至是可能养两只小狗，还是怎么样过我想要过的生活。So I was 24 then. The last year in our relationship, what happened was Benjamin cheated on me with another guy. 那我那时候二十四岁，在我们的关系的最后一年的时候呢，发生什么事呢？就是 Benjamin 呢跟另外一个男生，呃，就是对我呃有呃就有外遇。You know, when I was 24, or it's been 20 years since I suffered. I suffered. Since four years old and all the way to 24 now, I'm tired. I'm too old. I'm 24 years old. I'm tired of doing this. I thought this is the guy that I'm going to be forever with, but he, you know, he cheated me with another guy. I, I told myself, I'm done with this. 所以其实二十四岁的时候，我已经经历了二十年的这些呃痛苦。对我来说，我已经很疲惫了。但我二十四岁，我以为这一切都结束，我可以跟我相爱的人厮守到底。但是这个男生，他竟然跟另外一个男生，呃，就是有外遇的关系。那我觉得，我就跟我自己说，我受够了。And I was not even a Christian. I has I have not given my life to Jesus yet. 那时候我还不是一个基督徒，我甚至没有把我的生命交给耶稣。I was born into a Catholic family, then I joined the Salvation Army Church, Salvation Army. I'm not sure if you know that. When I was 21 years old, I was not born again. Okay, when I was with when I was with 
Benjamin and I broke up with him. I, I was involved in some Christian church, but I did not give my life to Christ. So the reason I became an ex-gay and came out of that life, I decided not just to break up with Benjamin. I decided to break up with the whole lifestyle, even though I was not a Christian yet, because I got sick and tired of suffering. 那我那个时候，我出生在一个呃天主教的一个家庭里面。可是呃，我一直以来也有在Salvation all glory to God, I was at the right place at the right time when that happened. Before becoming a pastor, I was a teacher. I was a special educational teacher. I teach children with autism, children with Down syndrome. So I was a teacher before I became a pastor. So I was teaching in a Christian school. So all the while while I was trans and I was gay, I was a teacher and I was exposed to some good Christian people. And unfortunately, I can't say that all Christians are good. I said some, some good Christians. Some Christians are the most judgmental people. Some Christians will act, will treat trans people or gay people like we were created by Satan and not by God. And those, those kind of Christians, they need Jesus more than us. Those kind of Christians who have no love in their life, I'm telling you, those who are LGBTQ people, they can they, they can never ever be, those Christians can never ever be a befriender. God cannot use them. You know, they put, they put Jesus to shame. 那这些基督徒呢，他们对于这个同性恋、跨性别者的这个群体而言，他们永远没有办法就是效法耶稣来去服侍这一群人。Christians, please do not condemn the LGBTQ people. 基督徒，请你不要来去论断这一些呃这一群的。If you have LGBTQ family members and friends and colleagues. Your job is to pray for them and to love them. That's all. Pray for them. Love them. And educate yourself on how to reach out to them. And that's where you need to come to my ministry, SIMB, and we will teach you how to reach out to them. But if you don't want to come, so never mind. You just pray and love. Pray and love. Pray and love. Are you listening? So in SIMB, we have two ministries. RLM is a ministry that journey with the LGBTQ. We journey with them. We help them. SIMB, we train people how to be a befriender. We train you how to journey with them. Right? So, and this training is just once a month. It's ongoing. Once a month and you come for a year or two, once a month, and you will be educated and you will become a powerful instrument to journey with them. SIMB是训练 
呃这些呃要成为他们朋友的人，要怎么样去帮助他们？每个月会有一次的训练，大概一两年的时间，你就会知道怎么跟他们结伴而行。Like this V Talk that I'm running, this V Talk is under SIMB. This V Talk is part of the training program that we do to train and even to inspire you to say, "Hey, I want to do something. I want to do more than pray and love. I also want to be educated on how to understand and how to reach out to the LGBTQ people." 那现在这样的一个 V Talk 呢，它其实属于 S I M B 的一环，就是我们训练大家、教育大家要怎么样去，呃，甚至可能是启发大家想要去，呃，设计在这个施工里面要怎么样去帮。So when I was in the Salvation Army environment, and when my boyfriend, my last boyfriend, cheated on me, and God put me at the right place at the right time, when you know at that time, even before I broke up with Benjamin, God did put a few ladies in my life, real Christian ladies, to love me. Even not telling me to change, just loving me and praying for me, and just inviting me to their house, cook for me, and I was so loved. Even as a transgender, even as a gay, real some few, ah few, few real Christians really love me. So when I broke up with Benjamin, who do you think I will turn to? I ran to these real Christian ladies, and that's where my real journey began. So, why do I say I was in the right place at the right time? At the right place, at the right time. That is to say, when my third husband was out, and he was out of the country, and he was out of the country, 就是分手的时候呢，其实，在那之前，我一直成为跨性别者也好，同性恋者的时候，我有遇到一些非常好的基督徒女生。那她们这些姐妹呢，她们就是呃，会接纳我，会爱我，为我祷告，甚至没有让我改变。那当我分手的时候，你觉得我会奔向谁呢？我是奔向这些的姐妹。So based on my experience, and I believe this is real, and the experience of a lot of people that I've been working with since 1999. My ministry started in 1999. Okay, based on my 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 journey, my experience, ex LGBTQ cannot succeed without real Christians journeying with them. So they need. Real, just like how the God used those ladies when I was in my twenties to journey with me. So that is why I'm so inspired to give V talks like this and to do the training to raise you up, Christians, to become befrienders for Jesus Christ. 所以根据我的经历，我的这个施工从一九九九年开始的，我知道就是这一个 LGBT 的这个群体呢，他们没有办法成功的，就是走出来，如果没有真正的基督徒跟他们一起走过这一段的路程。所以我就是举行这样的这些讲座来去启发你，要去帮助这一群的人来给你训练。I know we're going to have a Q and A soon, right? 我知道待会儿我们有一个问题回答的时间。I I wrote a book. 我写了一本书。This book is entitled "She Is My Brother." 这本书叫做《她女性的她是我的兄弟》。Okay, what is this book about? This are、uh, the book contained most asked questions about this subject. 那这本书是关于什么呢？它是有所呃最常会被询问的一些问题在这个课题里面。And I have responded to all those questions. So all of you will have. We might have a Q and A session after this, but you, there won't be time to answer all of your questions. But many of your questions will be in this book. So this this、uh, this is a book of Q and A. The first part of the book is Q and A that I've written, and the second part of the book is a devotions that I wrote, a 31 days devotions for those who are who are in the journey, as well as those who want to become a befriender. To the people who are in the journey, the devotions are good for them. So, this book, I know there will be a question and answer period. But it is possible that I cannot answer all of your questions. Maybe you have some questions in this book. The first half of this book is about these questions and answers. The second half of this book is about some of the answers and answers. The third half of this book is about some of the answers and answers. The third half of this book is about some of the answers and answers. The third half of this book is about some of the answers and answers. The third half of this book is about some of the answers and answers. 正在走出来的弟兄姐妹结伴而行的，你来帮助他们。So we didn't bring many books. There are about eighty books, I think. We only brought about eighty books. 
Okay, so you are the leaders. If you, if you were to ask me, I think as leaders, you should have this book, all right? Because tomorrow I'm giving different talks and I don't think, because I came from Malacca, so I can't, you know, we only had 20 kg in the plane, so I can only carry 20, 80 books. Yeah, so I would encourage you to grab the book ASAP. We are selling it outside. We only have 80 copies, I think, yeah. So do that, do that for your ministry and for yourself as leaders. We only have about 80 books. Now, because I am from Malaysia, I only have 20 kg of the weight to carry, so I have very limited. So as a leader, I think this book will help you in your ministry. So we will take your questions now. Now, let me Yes. Maybe someone could read the questions for okay. me better for me. Okay. For question one, how would you provide proper guidance to children who say they are LGBTQ or trans? Okay. First and foremost, this is there is an agenda taking place on this in this earth right now, which is horrible and ugly. That is promoting children to. Think and believe that they are LGBTQ. That this question is about how you would give advice to those who think they are LGBTQ or other gender-neutral individuals. So, the answer is that in this world, we have a very ugly situation, which is that we are trying to encourage children to think they are belong to these gender-neutral or gender-neutral individuals. This is a big problem in in terms of children. This is a big a bigger problem in the West. 那如果是说对于孩子来说，在呃西方国家，这个是更大的一个问题。The more developed, the more liberal that a country becomes, the more this problem is growing. 一个国家越发展的好，或者越多自由的时候呢，那就会有这样更多的这样的问题。I am not saying there are we don't have this kind of issues in Malaysia. We do, but much much lesser. 我不是说在马来西亚并没有这样的问题，我们有，可是比较起来的话是很少的。First and foremost, my question to you, whoever you are, whoever's asking, your children. When you say child, what what age are you talking about? If you are telling me they are below thirteen, then they shouldn't even be educated on the subject of LGBTQ. Children should not be educated. Children should be educated on what, on basic knowledge on sex is enough. If your child already know what's LGBTQ, something is wrong that's happening in your child's life already. Your child is being indoctrinated already. No. 首先，关于这提问这个问题的人，我想要问的是说，说你的孩子究竟是处于几岁呢？如果他是十三岁以下，他问这个问题的话呢，他其实那个时候应该没有这样的认知，关于什么是 LGBTQ。那如果他有的话，那肯定就是说他。生命中发生了一些很错误的事情，甚至他有一些的呃问题。Instead of thinking what should I do if my child is LGBTQ. I will tell you, parents, older sisters, older brothers, auntie, uncle, you need to do what my parents didn't do for me. As parents, you need to rise up to love your children. You see, I want. Uh, can you come up? You, yeah, boy, come, come up here on stage. I want to show you something very powerful now. 那如果是你，你是作为呃，就是如果你孩子是这样的情况的话，那作为父母，作为呃阿姨叔叔、姐姐们，我希望你能够。I need you、uh, quickly. You are, you look you look so young. You can run. 做这样的事情，就是我父母没有做的事。Can、okay, you hold the mic for me? I, you 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 be my mic stand. Okay. So this is this is this boy represents every child. 这这男孩就代表了所有的孩子。Okay, and this is something that. We need to learn more than what should I do if my child is LGBTQ or whatsoever. 那我觉得这个比我们要顾虑我们的孩子如果是跨性别者或者是同性恋者更重要的事情，我们要做。There's an old saying: prevention is better than cure. 有一句话说，防范胜于治疗。
So before you can have the problem, let's let's see how we can prevent the problem from happening. So in our we have not yet have the problem before, we need to prevent the problem from happening. And all of you, parents, big brother, big sisters, teachers, pastors, every one of you can contribute into the child's life. So, all of you, parents, big brother, big sisters, teachers, pastors, every one of you can contribute into the child's life. So, all of you, parents, big brother, big sisters, teachers, pastors, every one of you can contribute into the child's life. So, all of you, parents, big brother, big sisters, teachers, pastors, every one of you can contribute into the child's life. To grow it, and the wings will fly for him to be a normal, healthy human being. But watch. 而这个是孩子，那它代表所有的孩子，每个孩子都需要展翅高飞。God used a man and a woman to come together so that the child can be born. A man and a man coming together, a child cannot be born. A woman and a woman come together, a child cannot be born. But God used a man and a woman to come together, and a child can be born. And the man and the woman has the power to develop the child's wings. So, God used a man and a woman to come together, to raise a child. A man and a woman cannot raise a child. Same as a woman cannot raise a child. Every man in this child's life, the father, the brother, the male teacher. The male pastor, the male youth leader, has the power to love him. And as love comes into his life, that love is called masculine love. 所有在他生命里面的男性的这个呃老师、父亲、哥哥、姐姐呃哥哥，或者是甚至牧师传道，他们都可以在他的生命里面爱他。然后就是 And every woman in this child's life. The mother, the big sister, the grandmother, the auntie, the female pastor, as they love, then the child will receive feminine love, and that's where the child will develop a beautiful wings to fly, and there will not be sexual issues in this life. And why are there problems with so-called LGBTQ problems? This problem and that transgender is because this child has one wing only. Or this child has this wing only, or this child has one wing and a broken wing. So every child need to have proper masculine love, and every child has to have proper feminine love. And everything begins at home. Everything begins at church. Everything begins in Sunday school. In the youth group, is don't go there and chit chat, chit chat. It's all about love. You know why? Because God is love. And Christianity is about love, so love builds these wings, and it's not too late. Even if this child is seventeen, even if this child is eighteen, it's not too late to start. So that's why in the journey of recovery, what we do is we ask God to come in and restore and to build the wings of the child. And surely, but slowly, supernaturally, naturally, all these so-called LGBTQ issues they will be dissolved. Thank you. 因此，所以我们就是所有的女性，在她的生命里面，呃，女妈妈、姐姐，甚至是所有的女传道等等，他们所给予她的爱，就造造就了她另外一个翅膀。那单一边的翅膀是不能够，呃。是不健康的，是不成长的。所以，如果他有这些问题的话，肯定是因为他折了一边的翅膀，或者是另外一边翅膀比另外一边强大。这样。So to answer your question number one, if the child is have LGBTQ problem, you have to go back. You have to find out is that child receiving masculine love or not? Is that child receiving feminine love or not? I cannot give my children feminine love because I'm not a woman. Only the woman has a power to give feminine love. So if my child has issues, then we have to question: Is your child is filled with feminine love enough or not? Is your child filled with masculine love? Instead of Are you gay? Are you straight? Are you trans? That that doesn't solve the problem. You got to go one step further. You know when you want to destroy a tree, you say Are you gay? Are you trans? You're like clicking. Clipping the leaves, it doesn't destroy the tree. You got to kill the roots. The roots is these issues. Children are lacking of feminine love. Children are lacking of masculine love. Children are lacking of masculine role models. Children are lacking of feminine role models, and they need all that to become a whole human being with proper wings to fly. 
。因此，当你问我说我的孩子有这样的同性跨性别者这样的一个问题的时候，我需要你就是倒退回来去。审查一下，究竟有给这个孩子足够的父爱或母爱吗？如果是他缺乏了父亲的那一部分，或者是呃母亲的爱，那我作为一个父亲，我不能给他母爱。同样的，呃，妈妈没有办法给他父爱，那我们必须要审查自己，然后同一时间就是给他足够的爱，这样子他才能够就是呃这些这些的问题最终将会化解。So if your child comes to you and say, "Mommy, I'm lesbian or I'm trans." Don't scold them, but dialogue with them. Always communicate with your children. Say, what do you mean? Don't be shocked. You know what do you mean? What do you mean by you are trans? Can you tell me what do you mean you are trans? So, when your child comes to you and says, "Mom, I'm a woman who is trans," or "I'm a woman who is cisgender," don't be shocked. 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 告诉他，问他说：“哎，你的你这是什么意思呢？你可以告诉我更深入一点，关于这是什么意思吗？” Or what do you mean you are gay? What do you mean you are like talk talk to your children, talk to them and don't freak out, don't go crazy. Dialogue with your child, of course. At the same time, pray and trust the Lord to give you wisdom, but communicate with your child. You will find out that your child is actually lacking. What I mentioned earlier, this masculine and feminine thing that God needs them to have. 因此，就是不要太过的惊慌而呃惊慌失措，以至于没有跟你的孩子沟通。要好好的跟他们沟通，去了解究竟是什么意思。然后这样我们才能够追根究底，知道究竟他是呃缺乏了什么东西。然后我们能够祷告。And if the, and if the, if the, if the boy say. I am. I'm a transgender. Why? Why you think you are transgender? Because I like to play with dolls. Play lah. It's okay. Go and play with dolls. Just because you want to play with dolls doesn't mean you are a transgender. You know, boys can play with dolls. Why not? They might end up becoming a doctor. You know, cutting the the woman's whatever. So it's it's just don't. Oh, if the girl come, why you want to be a why you want to be a boy? Well, I like to play football. Go and play football. Lah. It's okay. What? Girls can play football. Boys can like pink color. You know, boys can play with dolls. Who said cannot? That doesn't mean you are trans. That doesn't mean you must be the opposite gender. 或者是可就是这样的对话呢？比方说，如果是男孩跑过来跟你说我是跨性别者，那你跟他对话发现哦，为什么你这么认为呢？因为我喜欢玩洋娃娃。你喜欢玩洋娃娃就去玩呢、啊。男生没有没有人说男生不可以玩洋娃娃，不可以喜欢粉红色。同样的女生可能跟你说我是跨性别者，因为我喜欢踢足球。没有人说女生是不可以踢足球的，并不是表示说你喜欢一些男性化的东西或女性化的东西就表示你是个跨性别者。So in the past, we in the past, right? When you see a boy, a Girl is like a, a bit rough, like we call them what tomboy, right? Tomboy is not trans, but now this generation, you tomboy ah, that means you are transgender. Everything is transgender. Everything is transgender. No, the girl is a tomboy. The boy is a tom girl. That's it. You know, and just love them and don't make fun of them. Hey, tomboy, tomboy, no! Oh, you're a tomboy, ah? Well, some girls are tomboy, and let me tell you, a lot of tom girls and tomboys, as they grow up, they change. They become normal, wonderful people. But don't be a silly parent or silly big sister, big brother. Say, oh, tomboy, ah, you tomboy, you make fun, stupid tomboy. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be a tomboy. It's okay to be a tom girl. Tomboy and tom girl are not transgender. But the West is telling you yes. Oh, your son like to play with Barbie doll. Your son now is a transgender. Go psychologist. Seriously, this is what happening in the West. 那以往我们看到一个女孩子可能比较粗俗或者是比较中性，我们就会说她是一个 tomboy。那其实她并不表示她是一个跨性别者。同样的，就是呃。男男性可能比较女性化一点，我们就会说他是 Tom Girl， 但是他并不是跨性别者。可是现在呢，在西方国家来说的话，当他们看到这样子的情况，他们会说：是的，哦，你是这样子的话，你的孩子就是跨性别者，你要让他去接受心理辅导之类的。Of course, you continue. Even even if your child is your your girl is a tomboy, ah,、uh, if your your granddaughter or your grand your daughter is a tomboy or your niece is a tomboy. Okay, they are. You find out they are a tomboy, but don't stop at that. Still continue to communicate. Sometimes they are tomboy for the wrong reasons. They are tomboy because in their maybe they see ah、uh, that their brother is being loved more. In their minds, the brother having more attention. So I also want to be a boy, and that is a that is that is a wrong reason 
to be a tomboy. The real tomboys are natural tomboys. They are rough, they are tough. Girls are rough. That's different. But some girls choose to be tomboy because there's an issue behind that. Because they see their brother get more attention. Their brother get the, the toys that they like. So if they like the brother's toys, you buy the same toys. It's okay for a girl to play with a boy toy. There's nothing wrong. Do you understand? If your daughter says, I don't want to play this set, I want Coco toy, buy the Coco toys and give her. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And but you of course got to investigate why. And then it's just, then you, your your job as a parent is to give all your children equal love. Your job as a grandparents to give all your grandchildren equal love. Your job as a teacher to give all your students equal love. Your job as a pastor to give all your congregation equal love. And you can say amen. So, actually, when we have a child with a child, we should not be afraid of him or her. We should not be afraid of him or her. We should not be afraid of him or her. We should not be afraid of him or her. We should not be afraid of him or her. We should not be afraid of him or her. We should not be afraid of him or her. We should not be afraid of him or her. We should not be afraid of him or her. We should not be afraid of him or her. 作为父母、家长、呃，作为老师、牧师，呃，等等，我们并我们最重要要做的就是要给予所有的孩子、所有的群众一样的爱。So you see, I can take one question thirty minutes. I can answer. 你看，我可以用三十分钟来回答一个问题。So the conclusion is what? 总结是什么 ？Buy the book. 买书吧。So second question, do we have time for a second question? Yes. Uh, will be the last one. Okay. Uh, but this one is in Chinese. I may uh need Michelle to help me. Okay. 当跨性别者或同性恋者要恢复自己真实的性别时，无论是为了信仰因素或其他原因，却发现自己仍然无法摆脱，请问应该如何应对 ？Uh, the question is when. A transgender or homosexual person wanted to go back to his natural um, gender, so no matter because of uh, religion or other reasons, but he weren't able to break free from that. So uh, how should he face this? Okay, very good question. Okay, that's why that's why we present something in our ministry in RLM. Okay, we have SIMB. We are training people, right? In RLM, we offer something that we call. The journey of recovery, and the journey of recovery is a long journey where there are three seasons in the journey of recovery. A lot of hard work, okay. And I went through the journey of recovery. My journey was ten years. Some people take three years. Some people take fifteen years. I took ten years. So a lot of people don't succeed. When they go through the journey, their own journey of recovery, they don't succeed because they don't go through a proper journey of recovery. So a proper journey of recovery is vital. When you have someone, when you have an LGBTQ person who wants to change, that is one of the best news. Okay, but that is not enough. That is just the beginning. So some people try this way and that way, all kinds of way to be set free, but it doesn't work because they do not. They are not presented with a proper journey of recovery. So I'm going to explain to you the journey of recovery. You can interpret that. 好的，那就是说我们的施工里面有一个就是 SIMB， 就是训练别人嘛。那另外一个施工是 RLM， 它是帮助我们恢复的这个呃过程中，大概有一个三个季节的呃阶段。它是一个很长的旅途。有些人可能花三年，有些人十五年，我就花了十年。那我要表达的就是说，正确的呃一个。过程是非常非常重要的，我们必须要帮助他们，呃，在这个正确的过程中来去，呃，得到突破。我会更深入的来解释。So the first thing, the person who is going through the journey of recovery, we call them the befriendee. 所以，首先第一件事就是在经历这样的事情的人呢，他们要恢复的过程中，我们叫做呃需要被结伴同行的人。And the person who is giving the help is called the befriender. So in our in RLM we we have befriendies in SIMB we have befrienders. 而那些帮助他们走过这段经历的人呢，我们就是说帮呃与他们结伴同行的人。所以呃
就是在 RLM 叫做 Be Friendly， 然后在 SIMB 叫做 Be Friendly。Any one of you here, if you have a heart that filled with the Holy Spirit, you have Jesus in your life, and you have love for the Be Friendly, you can be a Be Friendly. 任何一个在座的每一位，如果你有被呃圣灵充满的心，那你想要帮助，那你也爱这一群的弟兄姐妹，要帮助他们与他们结伴同行，你可以成为 be friend。So a lot of be friendies do not succeed because they do not have be frienders. They do it alone. They do not have be friendies. Do not need friends. Be friendies do not need just counselors. Friends, we go and yamcha and have fun, but friends can't help. Can help a little bit, but not so much. Counselor very distance. They don't. They, they, there's no intimacy. A counselor is very distance. It's not the same as a befriender. A befriender is a friend plus a counselor, someone who merge together. They are more than a counselor. They are a friend. They will cry with the befriendy. They give their shoulder to cry. They journey. They love the befriendy. So it's not so much professional, but very personal. 所以很多人在这个路途中，这个过程恢复的过程中失败，因为他们自己一个人在面对这件事情。那这些人他们需要的并不是一个朋友，朋友可能跟他去喝个茶就算了，但是他没有办法解决问题。但是他需要的也不是一个辅导员，辅导员是蛮有距离的，他需要的是跟他结伴同行的人。And the focus of the journey of recovery is not to become straight. The focus is not to become normal. Okay, that will happen supernaturally, naturally in three years or in ten years. Follow me, ah.、Uh? The focus is for the befriendy to live a holy life. 那我们这整个的旅途的重点焦点放在的，并不是最终要成为一个异性恋者，或者是活出一个正常的生活。这种呢是最终可能三年、十年以后的事情。但是我们的最终的焦点是要帮助这些人能够活出圣洁的生活。So a successful be friendly is not someone who says, "I want to be straight. I want to be straight. I don't want to be trans. I don't know like that." A successful be friendly is someone says, "I want to be close to Jesus." I want to live my life for Jesus. I want to grow in Christ. I want to love the Word. This is the focus. And at the end of the results, at the end of the journey of recovery, three years or ten years or fifteen years, something good will happen. And I've seen it happen in a lot of people's life. But they need to get the focus right. 因此，要经历这些的突破，要破口出来的这些人呢，他们其实真正的焦点要放在的是，我要成为一个亲近神的人，我要爱神的话，我要更加靠近耶稣。这样的人，他们的焦点放在对的地方的时候，三年、十年、十五年之后，我看到很多很多的生命就因此而改变过来了。So a lot of be a lot of be friends turn back. Or they become unsuccessful because they do not accomplish the two things that we in RLM we focus on these two things. 那很多这些人呢，他们失败或者是回到以前的生活，是因为他们没有完成我们在 RLM 里面最关注的两个点。So in RLM, when we work with our befriendies, the first thing I said two things, right? Let's talk about the first one. The first one is we help, we teach, we pray, we train our befriendies. In the area of getting a restoration in their relationship with God, we drill on intimacy. We go deep into them learning the Word of God and re- realizing that they are not a mistake. Understanding that God loves them and God wants to set them free. So it's the spiritual aspect of the befrienders, the befriendies life. Is vital in the journey of recovery. That 第一件事情，我们专注于帮助他们能够回到神那里，跟神建立一个亲密的关系，让他们知道自己不是一个错误，能够经历神的爱。And the second one has three. Okay, in the journey of recovery, and this is why a lot of people don't succeed because they don't experience this. So these have to experience. The first is the spirituality. The second is the resolving of three issues. 那呃，很多人没有办法完成的，也是因为这第二件事情。第一个是关于属灵上面嘛。第二个呢，它是可以有三个分支。Okay, the first issues that the befriendies must receive help and be set free is the self issue. The self issue is basically a rejecting of self, hating self. Not wanting to be the the person, they need to be set free of the self issue. 
那第一件呢，这这分支里面的第一件就是要解决自己那个自我憎恶的这个问题，就是他们自己憎恨自己，觉得自己不能够接受自己的这个问题要被解决。And the second thing, this, these are all called trigger issues. They trigger people into LGBTQ problems. They trigger people into sexual problems. Okay. So the first is self issue, and the second is issues towards people of the same gender. That means boy having issue with father. Or you know, is resolving all issues that the befriendy has towards people of the same gender, and this and this, I'm just summarizing it, okay? But it's so so much work to get these issues done. Same gender issues must be resolved. The 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 person must be able, if the person if the befriendy is a boy, then the befriendy must be able to allow God to change their hearts and minds on how to look at boys, how to look at men, how to think of them and be be loved by boys. So it's the same gender issues have to be resolved. It doesn't matter if the person is a porn addict or a masturbator or a lesbian or a gay. Same if it's girl, then issues towards female. If it's boy, then issues towards male. 那呃，这个这三个分歧，我们说它是诱发导致可能有呃性或者是这个性别认知上面的问题的呃起因。所以第二点，这第二个分歧呢，就是说这个人他对于同性之间的这个问题，他的观法，就是说如果是男生的话，就是他对他父亲之间的那个问题解决了没有，或者母呃女性的话，可能他跟他母亲或者是姐妹之间的他们的看法。等等，有没有被呃解决 ？And lastly, of course, issues towards people of the opposite gender. Okay, so resolving self issue, resolving issues towards people of the same gender, and lastly, resolving. And this order is important. This has to be first, then this second. Cannot this first? It has to be this order. Self first, same gender second, and then lastly, opposite gender. So if the girl. If the befriendy is a female, the befriendy has to resolve every issue that she has towards the man or boys or father. If the befriendy is a boy, then he has to resolve every issue that he has towards mother, auntie, or whatever. And a, and a lot of people have gone through abuse, they, so they have to forgive. They have to learn how to surrender those people who took advantage of them into the Lord's hands. So a lot of hard work. I'm just summar summarizing it. But if you join our training, which is once a month, and the training is called the Victory Meeting, this is a Victory Talk. But the Victory Meeting happens every month, once a month, and it continues like January, then December, then January. You continue. Okay, it's 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 such a powerful. When you come for this meeting, then you will learn in detail all this what I'm teaching you today, so that you will be able to truly reach out to the LGBTQ community. 那,那第三个分歧呢，就是要解决他的问题是跟。呃，异性的问题，就是说，如果她是一个女性的话，她需要解决所有她跟男性父亲、兄长，或者是所有跟其他男性之间的问题。相相同的，就是如果她是男性的话，就要解决她跟女性之间的问题。那这三个分歧呢，它是需要按着顺序来的，先跟自己解决自己的问题，然后同性，然后异性。那如果你是来加入我们的这个训练的话，我们每一个月我们都会有这个 victory meeting。那呃，它是每一个月持续下去进行的，你就会受训练去呃。学习怎么样去帮助这个群体。So to answer the question just now that I have been asked, basically a lot of people don't succeed because they don't go through a proper journey of recovery. Okay, and these are people when people when any of the people in your life, family member, friend, church member, they want to be set free. Please let them guide them into the journey of recovery. Guide them to real love ministry. Okay, and you come in as their befriender, and we will work with you. And the befriendly. God bless each and every one of you. So, to answer this question, is that many people fail because they don't have a proper path of recovery. So, help them to return to the path of recovery.